Hi! Welcome back to our series on embedding Looker. Previously, we walked you through our SSO embedding option. Now, let's dive into a common embedding use case you can try out. Embedding a dashboard with custom filters. Let's say you have a Looker dashboard embedded in an iframe in your host application's front end. The dashboard displays sensor results and can filter its results based on the state and county level. The built-in embedded filter UI is great, but we want the user to control the dashboard's filter through your host application's UI. Let's build a custom filter UI in your host application that will replace the dashboard's filter UI and seamlessly control the embedded dashboard's filtering. The implementation will use React, our Looker Components Library, our API SDK, and our Embed SDK. However, you can achieve everything with vanilla JavaScript too. If you'd like to try out the working sample code, check out our Embed Reference Repository, links below. At a high level, we will follow these implementation steps. We will hide the dashboard's filter UI, build the host application's custom filter UI, fetch the filter state from our Looker API to initialize the custom filter UI, and lastly, set up the custom filter UI to message the embedded dashboard on user input. As always, a quick knowledge check before we continue. You should be familiar with JavaScript, Looker dashboard filters, and the previously mentioned implementation dependencies. All right, let's get started by hiding the dashboard's filter UI. We need to hide it so your user can only access the custom filters on your host application UI. To do this, we need to add a property to the embed content URL's underscore theme parameter. In this example, we use the embed SDK to create and manage the iframe. So we call the SDK's with params method with a JavaScript object that has an underscore theme property. We set the theme property to the JSON string representation of an object with a show filters bar property set to false. This disables the dashboard's filter UI when it is embedded in an iframe. Keep in mind, you must enable custom themes in your Looker instance to do this. With the dashboard's filter UI hidden, Let's replace it with a custom filter UI in your host application. In this example, we use the React filter component provided by our Looker components library. It's linked in the description below. The filter component provides an input field for the filter, suggests to the user what filter values are available, and communicates changes in the input field to its parent component. In this case, when you use the filter component, you need to pass in certain props, the available values or suggestions to filter on, the current values or expression of your filter, the type configuration of the filter, like if it's a drop-down menu, and other props. When your host application page loads, we need to initialize the filter component's props with the state of the dashboard filter. To do this, we fetch the dashboard's filter state from the Looker API and initialize the filter component props with the fetched state. For ease of use, we will use our Looker API TypeScript SDK to call the API endpoint. The SDK is linked in the description below. We call the SDK's dashboard method with the dashboard ID and use the fields argument to specify that we only want the dashboard's filters properties returned. The SDK call returns all of the dashboard's filters and their properties, like their current values, suggestions, and more. We then initialize the filter component props with the fetched properties. Now with the filter component initialized, we need to set up the custom filter to communicate user input to the dashboard. The Looker Embed SDK returns a convenient object that represents the dashboard embedded in the iframe. We'll name that object dashboard. The dashboard object comes with a send method for sending messages to the iframe. Our filter component needs to send two 
messages to the dashboard on every filter value change. We first send a dashboard filters update message with the new filter value. This tells the embedded dashboard to set new values on its filters. And then, importantly, we send a run message to the dashboard to update its results. Now, when the user changes the filter value in your custom filter component, the component tells the dashboard to change its filter and update its results. And there you have it. We hid the dashboard's filter UI, replaced it with a custom filter UI, initialized it with the dashboard's filter state fetched from the Looker API, and lastly set up the filter component to update the dashboard's filters and results. Now, your user can interact with your host application UI to seamlessly filter your embedded dashboard results. We hope this use case gives you a glimpse of the flexibility of Looker embedding. We provide open source tools like the Looker Embed SDK, the Looker Component Library, and the Looker API SDK to help you embed Looker more easily. Don't forget to try out the working sample code in our Looker Embed Reference Repository. Everything I mentioned is linked below. And with that, look out for more videos in this series. See you next time.